Welcome back to the first computer class of this academic year. We are going to start with the first chapter that is computer memory. Children just look at this picture. In this picture a human brain is compared to the computer memory. Just as we store the information in a brain, same way the computer stores the information in the computer memory. A computer has a very large memory. We can store a large amount of data in the memory of the computer. Computer has two types of memory. First, internal memory. Second, external memory. Internal memory has two types, RAM rom external memory has many types like floppy disk hard disk magnetic tape cd rom dvd pen drive internal memory internal memory is also known as primary memory it is also called as the main memory this is present inside the computer and helps the computer to work. If you remove this type of memory, the computer cannot work. Internal memory is of two types, RAM, ROM. RAM. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is volatile in nature. It stores information as long as the computer is on. Information is lost when the computer is turned off. It is big in size. We can read and write in it. ROM ROM stands for Read only memory. It is non volatile and permanent in nature. It is made up of a semiconductor circuit into which data is permanently stored at the time of manufacturing. It is small in size. We can only read it. PROM. PROM is also known as programmable read-only memory. It is a ROM that can be programmed to record information using a facility known as PROM programmer. Once the information is written, it cannot be changed. EPROM Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory It is another type of ROM that can be erased using ultraviolet light. The chip can be reprogrammed to record the different information using a special PROM program facility. EEPROM Electrically Erasable Programmable Read Only Memory. This type of ROM can be programmed and erased by electrical signals. For this purpose, ultraviolet light is not required. In this slide, children, I will tell you the difference between EEPROM and EEPROM. In EEPROM, we use ultraviolet light to reprogram and in EEPROM, we use electrical signals. External memory. External memory is also known as secondary memory. It has mass storage space. It allows you to 
change copy move print or delete the data whenever required hard disk hard disk is a type of external memory it is a magnetic disk the storage capacity is high hard disk is much faster it is inside the computer floppy disk a floppy disk consists of a flexible disk made up of mylar with a magnetic coating it is square in shape and is portable we can copy our data and drive to view change and store new data magnetic tape magnetic tape is similar to the audio tape it is the oldest storage device available for big computers the tape is made up of plastic ribbon coated with an iron oxide material which can be magnetized the data stored on the tape can be read erased and written again cd rom It stands for compact disk read only memory. CD-ROM can store a large amount of data that is multimedia encyclopedias, books, games, images and video libraries. They can be carried easily as they are small in size. CDs are of two types. First one, CD-R. It stands for Compact Disk Readable. Data once written cannot be changed or deleted in this type of CDs. Next one is CD-RW. It stands for Compact Disk Rewritable. Data in this CD can be erased or rewritten dvd it stands for digital versatile disk it is a external memory the size is same as a cd rom but holds up to 25 times more data and is much more faster pen drive it is easily carried from one place to another it can store a larger amount of data the data is transferred and stored through the usb port inbuilt on the cpu children let's know how is data stored in computers computers understand the flow of electric current it can sense whether electric current is passing if we can develop a language which consists of presence or absence of an electric current then it is easy to communicate to computers the presence or absence of an electric current is represented by 1 and 0 units for measurement of memory memory of a computer refers to the amount of space available in a computer for storing information this can be measured in units like bytes and bits now the units of memory are as follows 8 bits is equal to 1 byte 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte 1024 kb is equal to 1 megabyte 1024 mb is equal to 1 gigabyte 1024 gb is equal to 1 terabyte thank you students will meet again